I find it deeply moving to be able to connect with the past through photos, films, and audio clips. Today we're going to listen to the voice of America's first celebrity superstar, Buffalo Bill Cody. <music> Greetings everyone. If we haven't met before, I'm Gail Masenda, and I'm really glad you're here on our History Heights channel. As always, if you learn something new, we'd appreciate a like or a comment, and it's really super helpful to the channel whenever you subscribe and share. Okay, let's get started. The man we know as Buffalo Bill was born William Cody in 1846. He is best known today for his exhibitions he called Buffalo Bill's Wild West. On April 20th, 1898, just days before the Spanish-American War began, Cody made a voice recording called Sentiments on the Cuban Question. In it, he urged Americans to support the U.S. government intervention in Cuba. On April 23rd, Spain declared war on the United States, and on April 25th, United States declared war on Spain. Even at 52 years of age, Cody planned on joining the war effort, but was in the midst of his season of the Wild West. Before he could get things arranged to go to Cuba, the war, which lasted not quite four months, was already over. As you listen to this recording, remember you are listening to a man who was friends with George Custer, William Tecumseh Sherman, Wild Bill Hickok, Chief Sitting Bull, Annie Oakley, and one of the founders of the Pony Express, Alexander Majors. They all heard his voice, and now you can too. At the end of the recording, you'll hear him announce Buffalo Bill's Wild West. His speech has the cadence of a showman. Let's take a listen. The opponents of intervention have no substitute proposition. They have no plans save those that have already failed. If the government were guided by their advice, butchering, devastation, and barbarity would become permanent social conditions in Cuba. And the unrest, the tumult, and the passion of the last 60 days would take their places as established features of our national life. No man who is not willing to hear about the hideous crimes in Cuba, to read the war speeches of single senators, and look upon the war headlines of the yellow journals every day in the year for the remainder of his actual life, has any right to oppose his aggression in Cuba unless he submits an effective plan for the permanent abatement of these issues, which, in the language of the President, have become intolerable. There is one more consideration. Any American who finds himself unable now to support the President in his proposed policy towards Spain shows himself to be perfectly content that this country should exhibit itself in the attitude of a nation that will not fight for its peace and safety, for its honor and self-respect, or in the performance of the duty imposed by humanity and civilization. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to introduce to you a Congress of the Rough Riders of the World. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? In the description box down below, I'll include a link to the History Heights ebook, The Story of William F. Cody, Buffalo Bill, America's First Celebrity Superstar, plus some links to additional videos about Cody. He really was a remarkable man, and hearing his voice from well over a hundred years ago is truly amazing. But as much as we enjoy history, always remember, we can learn from the past, but we don't live there. Go be awesome today and make your own history. Bye for now.